Hello everyone and welcome to the first uh, crate guide video that I'll be making for you. Uh, my name is Scooten and I'm here to take you through a series of crate guides. Uh, we will explore every corner of Cray more or less. Um, so I'm going to do a, a couple series, some speed builds um, and some deep explanation of uh, different gameplay props and of course go through all the uh, options and uh, tools that are available in Cray. But in this video, I'd actually like to start off with just addressing two questions that was asked in the Discord by some of the users. And I think we should just uh, dive straight into it. So the first one was actually uh, a question that was more or less something like, how do you create uh, huge flows using um, using one object? So how do you like tile uh, multiple objects together and align them precisely in order to get the flow that you want? And to do this, um, I'd recommend first enabling the snap grid and the rotate grid it's going to make it a lot easier to align uh, all the objects then i'd go into the uh, to the library and just find whatever uh, object you'd like to use as your floor and i think maybe maybe let's go with this wall today um so first off is laying this wall down because obviously we want a floor and not a not a huge wall right so press three and press three one more time and now just uh, rotate with the mouse until you have the object in the position you want and now just press ctrl c and as you can see it basically aligns next to it and the grid is really helping me out here um, so i'm just going to place uh, let's say five of them um, and by the way i can see that my mouse is kind of misaligned in the camera uh, that's uh, that's a shame but please bear with me for this video <laughs> I'll make sure to upgrade the, the gear for the next ones but basically now select all the tiles and press ctrl C so we've now copy each and every one of them and we can just start placing away and as you can see with the grid everything is perfectly aligned and voila we have a floor and this can be done with I'd say almost any object in the game some objects don't do as well on the grid as others, but the, the square ones are, are, are very precise, I find. You can also scale this one by pressing 4 and just moving the mouse up. Uh, this will give you an even bigger floor. Um, and then just start placing away. Using the grid is just making this a lot easier. And voila, there we go. Two different kinds of floors, same object. Alright, so let's move on to the next one the next question was how do I make text appear on the screen it's a good question but fortunately we have a tool here for it and go into uh, the Cray library and on the gameplay you'll find the text overlay so the text overlay is pretty much just designed to do this um, you can double click on it um, here to open the, uh, the settings window or you can just right click it uh, like with any other prop and then open the settings like this now we'll just uh, make a, what should we write here test 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 super creative uh, stuff um, sorry about that now we need to power it somehow um, or we can just uh, I turn it on and off here but nothing really happens because we're in build mode um, but let's find a power source in the library okay let's go with the sensor here uh, I'm just gonna mark with the paint tool where the sensor is because this will be invisible in play mode I'm gonna take the character here now I'm just gonna power it so I'm dragging a power wire you can just press P while you hover over it and it will draw the line directly or you can right click and find the power at the bottom and basically just click on the text here so I'm gonna press 9 now I'm in play mode you can see the flaws we made before and this is the sensor with the text overlay as I run into it boom the text pops up um, I can run out of it and now the text is gone in again and the text is there now what I could do if I wanted the text to be there permanently which uh, I think would be a very rare scenario but just for the sake of the example I could um, go into the settings of the sensor and y trigger forever so this way when I run into the sensor it's gonna keep sending power even though I run out of it alright so this is a very useful function um, and the sensor not so useful in this scenario but hey now you know um, this text prop could be powered uh, with let's say 
to find some maybe a generator. Um, so for those of you that doesn't know, the generator basically it sends power for in this case two seconds, and then for 0 0.5 seconds it's off. We're just gonna change this to uh, oh not 12 that is way too much, but to one second and to one second. So it's on for one second, then off for one second, and on for one, and it does this forever. So I'm just gonna hover over the generator. I'm gonna press P to drag the power wire, and then I'll press on the text overlay. Now when I press 9, you can see the text is appearing for one second, and then it disappears for one second and comes back, and it just keeps on looping like this. Again, not very useful for the text overlay, but it can be useful for a variety of other gameplay props, and we'll just get to that in the next videos. But um, I think this is it for the first video. Please feel free to uh, recommend subjects or add questions to the Learn to Cray channel in Discord, and I'll do my best to address the questions as quickly as possible. Um, also, um, also just uh, let me know. Yeah, I think that's actually all I wanted to say. I don't know why I keep blabbering, but thank you very much for watching, guys, and we'll see you all in the next videos. Goodbye. Bye.